Welcome to the MBA department of Swami Vivekananda Group of Institutes. Today we are going to discuss about why the king of modern retail Kishore Bayani finally surrenders. Kishore Bayani has surrendered the crown jewel of the future group by selling his retail business to billionaire Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Retail in a stunning reversal of fortunes for a businessman who was once celebrated as India's retail king. The mega transaction with a combined value of 24,713 crore rupees cements the position of Reliance Retail as the undisputed leader in the organized retail segment and adds muscle to an ongoing battle with Amazon for the Indian e-commerce market. The future group houses leading retail formats, including supermarket chain Big Bazaar, upmarket food stores Food Hall, and bargain clothing chain Brand Factory. 1987. 1997. 2007. These three years, each separated by a decade, sum up the rise and fall of Kishore Bayani. In 1987, a young Marwari got frustrated by the conservative business approach of his family elders and started a garment manufacturing business, called Man's Wear. By 1997, the business was doing well enough for Bayani to open the first pantaloons store in Kolkata. It was said to be twice the size of any other store in the city. The brand and the stores caught the imagination of an exploding middle class that was beginning to reap the fruits of the 1991 liberalization. In 2001, he diversified and launched his biggest success, he started a series of supermarket stores under Big Bazaar. Fashioned to replicate a busy and chaotic marketplace that Indians were otherwise used to, but packaged in a supermarket format, the retail chain became immensely popular and expanded fast. Over the next six years, it will add nearly 100 stores across the breadth and length of the country. Bayani's biggest success had come from diversification. He looked for more opportunities. He had already burnt his fingers by venturing into Bollywood and making two movies that were both, critically and commercially, panned. But like an entrepreneur, always looking out for a new opportunity, Bayani used the same risk-taking penchant to diversify further. Alas, as he would accept years later, he shouldn't have. In 2007, Bayani's future group diversified into insurance and launched Future General Insurance. In the same year, Future Capital was formed, offering financial products, wealth management services, equity broking solutions and real estate broking. His group also ventured into real estate. These ventures were to prove costly later. Even though he managed to recover from the 2008 global economic meltdown, entry of aggressive deep-pocketed rivals meant that the original retail king also had to keep burning cash to retain market share. But clearly, the entrepreneur had spread himself, and his business empire, too thin. In early 2019, having diversified into many categories over the years with limited success in some of them, Bayani confessed that it was a mistake and the company would restrict itself to food, fashion and home furnishings verticals. But by then it was too late. Bayani was looking for a knight in shining armor, went pillar to post for selling his beleaguered businesses. He held marathon meetings with potential suitors who could bail him out. By March 2020, ratings agency ICRA had already placed a negative rating on Future Group's holding company Future Corporate Resources to non-investment grade on high debt levels. It was mainly on account of an increase in debt of the operating companies, with the total debt at the group's listed companies increasing to 12,778 crore rupees as of September 30, 2019, from 10,951 crore rupees as of March 31, 2019, ICRA said. Future Retail was said to have taken loans worth 170 crore rupees under the common COVID-19 emergency credit line CCECL scheme from multiple banks since April to stay afloat due to mounting debt and the COVID-19 pandemic. Future Group was burdened with net debt of about 12,989 crore rupees with all shares of promoters being pledged with lenders. In the last moment, just to avert a default the company made a payment of 100 crore rupees or $14 million on its foreign bonds on August 24, 2020. A default would have seen the company getting downgraded by ratings agencies to default category. Despite the fall, Bayani's legacy as India's original retail pioneer will remain unblemished. He had spotted the opportunity much before anyone else. That's all for today. We will be coming back shortly with our next episode on the same topic where we will discuss about the rise and fall of the king of modern retail industry. 
Thank you for watching this content of the MBA department of Swami Vivekananda Group of Institutes. Stay home, stay safe. Do not forget to visit www.svist.org.